no use talking. We've lost everything, and that's all there is to it. Oh, Dad, everything's going to be all right. How can it be all right? Why, we haven't a dollar in the world, and at our time of life. Well, I'll try and get a job, and that'll help a little. Them dad foreign scallywags hang on and get away with my money. Oh, you'll get your money, Jack. You're dead blame right I'll get my money in with this. I told you not to put your money in that bank. That man always looked suspicious to me. But there ain't no use of getting so pestered about it. We got a little money left out of the ranch. You mean I've got money out of the ranch? I raise those pigs. You want to raise cows. Well, you still got the cows. I raise the pigs. They're my pigs. You bad about him killing him, don't Right. Hey, what's all the excitement, partner? Now, John Weston just killed himself a little while ago. The coroner's up there with him now. Well, Doc, clear case of suicide. Powder marks, every indication. I wonder what could have caused him to do a thing like this. That's a question. Why do bank presidents usually kill themselves? What are you driving at, Adams? I was just wondering if the money we entrusted to John Weston would be safe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Arguments ain't going to get us no place. Mr. Carter? Sure. Pay to something like this. Friends' money. Carter against some of the loans he was making. But he wouldn't. Well, never mind. We get the bottom of this later. Landers here can bear me out in what I say. Yes, that's right, Sheriff. Then you think the bank's in a bad shape? I'm afraid so. Of course, we won't know till the bank examiner gets here from the county seat. I'll send for him right away. In the meantime, that vault must stay locked. Well. I'm telling you that when that vault is open, everything will be all right. In the meantime, I intend to maintain my office downstairs in the bank. Never do it, Winters. I'll tell you why. Because he robbed us and was too cowardly to face us. He was a swindler and a thief. Well, nobody but a yellow belly coyote would talk that way about a dead man. You ain't referring to me as a coyote, are you? Well, if the shoe fits, you can wear it. Why, you old fairy dog? Don't let him. Wait a minute. You can't talk to an old man like that. Who are you buttoning on this? Who I am don't count. But I'm endorsing what the gentleman just said about you. And I'm adding that only a car did pick a fight with a man as old as he is. Oh. Oh. Stay back, Stay back, Are you all right, Dan? Yes, I'm all right. Check a job for you, Sheriff. No, he looks like he's handling it all right. This world's been getting too tough around here lately. He needs it taken down. Throw them away. Throw them away, boys. That's it. Now, come on. Get up from there. Come on. Come here. Easy now. You're going to apologize. I'm going to what? I said you was going to apologize. Apologize? I will not. You won't, huh? Come on, let's go for a walk. Come on, get going. Come on, boys. Both of you. Why are they taking him? He couldn't do it. All right, hold it. That'll do it. Turn around. Hold it. Easy. Take it easy. Oh. That's a waste. 
Are you going to apologize or not? No. You're not, huh? All right, grab a hold of him. What are you saying for that six shooter? What for? Hold that oh, I don't want to. Come on, oh. get a hold of him. Get a hold of him. Oh. What are you saying under there? Come on. Get <laughs> out of there. Talk out of there. Oh. Say, Sheriff, <laughs> you ain't going to let that fella get away with that, are you? Friend of yours? Well, no, but I don't think it's a good thing for the town. <laughs> you gonna apologize or not? No, I'm not. Well, you won't, huh? Put it under again, boys. I said under this time. Suck him in there. <laughs> Wait under there. Keep it down. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, all right. I'll apologize. All right, let's see you do it. <laughs> I, uh, I apologize. <laughs> I accept. He apologize. <laughs> I just want to thank you for taking my father's part. I... I was, uh... I'm sure father would like awfully well to talk to you. All right. That was a neat job you did, young man. That is in a mesa, I sure appreciate it. Why? You know, it's bullies like this Burl Adams here. It's made this town a mighty tough place to live in. I was nothing. Oh, uh, much obliged to you. Bye, Miss Ruth. Goodbye. Cal, I want to thank you. Thank me? For what? You were always a friend of John Wesson's, wasn't you? You're Don Tootin, I was. Well, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Say, got any place we can talk private like? I've got a north. Okay, boss, listen. We couldn't help it. He made us do it. No, well, know? that's the last thing in the world I do. You know well, that. Well, that's the last thing in the world you yeah, do, sure. eh? He was sore, wasn't he? No, not much. He wasn't mm -hmm. sore. He, he did mad. Make yourself comfortable, Cal. Thanks. Have a cigar? No, thanks. I never spoke of it. Well, what you got on your mind, huh? Mr. Winters, right now you two people are the only ones in town that know who I really am. It's very important that I keep my identity a secret. My father didn't kill himself. He was murdered. And whoever did it made one big mistake. He planted the gun in the wrong hand. My father was left-handed. A left-handed man wouldn't carry a gun in his right hand, would he? You're right, Cal. And I never thought of it. It surely slipped up that time. Do you know of any enemies my father might have had, Mr. Winters? No, none that I can point my finger at right now. There were a number of threats flying around town about six months ago when your daddy and I started to organize the vigilantes committee. Oh, I see. Some of them would give a heap to know where we hold our meetings. I'll bet they would. Say, do you suppose we could get their help in case we needed them? Darn cute and right you could. Say, I'll introduce you to some of them. Why are you staying over to our house? Well, now listen, I don't want to put you people to that kind of trouble. I just as well stay at a hotel while I'm here. Now, don't argue. It's no trouble at all. You're going to stay over to our house. Who's those hombres? 
That's only the Hawks, boys. They're two of the toughest hombres in this section. Anytime you find any trouble, you'll find the Hawks, boys, in the middle of it. I said win it. Don't soak it. I think they'll bear watching. Perhaps. Say, I was just thinking. I might find a clue among Dad's personal effects. I think I'll come down tonight and look things over. Good idea.
the matter? Oh, you've been hurt. Oh, that's another thing, Ruth. Really Daddy, something. Cal's been wounded. Wounded? Oh, there wasn't anything to it. It's just been nicked. That's all right. Yeah, I'll just come down here and sit down. That's all. Bullet just touched the floor. That's all right. Sit down. Sit down here and let me look at it. That's all. Look, it's all right. Now you run into the kitchen and get a basin of hot water and a towel. Telephone Doc Fan will come over here. A little late, but they got here. I told you there was no need to worry. Hi, boss. Well, how about it? We got what you wanted. Yes, but we've got to be careful. There's somebody else interested in Weston's personal belongings. Somebody else? You said it. Sit down. I'd like to hear about that. Okay. Well, I went up to Dad's room and I found the door open. A couple of hombres in there plundering the place. I tied into them and, well, it kind of looks like I come out second best. Have you any idea who they were? No. It was too dark. I got a pretty good idea. Looks to me like it is an inside job. He busted a couple of caps at us just as we was leaving town. Well, he should have plugged them. I tried to, but I was in too much of a hurry. We had to get out of town. Well, there's one thing certain. If he was after any of Western's papers, he's sure out of luck, because, boy, we got them all. You sure of that? Yeah. Remember, it only takes that one piece of paper to put a noose around all our necks. Say, that's the hombre that dunked me in the water trough. What's that signature there? To Dad from Cal. Weston never said anything to me about having a son. If that's your midnight prowler, it's a cinch he knows something. Say, look here, Carter. It's up to us to make the first move. I'll handle this in my own way. A plugged hombre is safer than a live one. <laughs> and a hanged man is safer still. You'll be all right in a day or two, young man. Thanks a lot, Doc. Good night. Good night. Good night, Miss Ruth. Good night, Doc. Hey, Doc. I guess you better tell the boys to meet at the bank about 7 o'clock. About all right, Judd. I'll do that. Fine. Good night. Good night. Listen, you fellas, that we're expecting is due in here early tomorrow morning. Now, if something should happen to him... It'd be hard to start all over. I'm sure they'll find everything all right, John. Surely that bank examiner will be finished soon. Anything else you'd like me to get for you? Oh, yes. Uh, how about those other ledgers? don't seem to be so hot lately. No, since the bank closed, it's been a difference. Well, you know, I always thought old John was right honest. Oh, you did? Yeah. Honest John West. He was a dirty crook. You said it. I ain't got a dime left. Ah, don't kid me. Why, you don't think about having to them hombres moan. They wouldn't talk that way if John Weston was alive. I'll say they wouldn't. No? Well, you two fellas seem to be pretty healthy. Maybe one of you would like to take his place. What do you say, Tuck? Not now. We ain't had a lunch yet. I'm telling you, John Weston was a dirty crook. That's what you say. Too bad he didn't leave a son or something. 
Maybe we could have had the pleasure of stringing him up. Well, old John ain't been proved crooked yet. And there ain't no sense trying to peel the hide off a dead man. Well, you'll find him right. Come on, let's go to the bank. Don't worry, Cal. I know everything's going to be all right. Sure it is, honey. Wait a minute. That examiner ought to be through pretty soon, though. I wonder what can be keeping Dad. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I'd better go find out. All right, hurry him up, will you? All right. How are you set? Just right. Just a minute. Hey. We've heard of how you think you're plenty tough. Reckon you never heard of us. Nope, I can't say as I have. Well, we're those hell popping hawk boys. I'm Nip and I'm Tuck. And we just naturally eat tough guys. Yep. Well, in that case, you ain't gonna find me at all appetizing. Because I'm meek as a lamb. Sometimes. Well, that's all we wanted to find out. You know, got anything else on your mind, Tuck? Not a thing. Say, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Cal. I didn't know it was so late. Well, that's all right, Mr. Winters. I guess uh, you and Ruthie made good use of the time, didn't you? <laughs> well, I... I think we'd better be going over to the bank. <laughs> oh, Mr. Winters, when are we going to get our money? My dear Mrs. Snodgrass, we must all be patient. The bank examiner is in there now, going over the books. Just as soon as his report is ready, we... Where's Mr. Carter now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now. Mm. Friends, the bank examiner has just finished a preliminary survey of the bank's books. There is only one word that expresses it. This bank has been looted. Looted? 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 Why, not only have you good people lost all your money, but I have lost most to my personal fortune as well. Why, the dirty crook, what's he done with our money? Yeah. 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 Dead men can't talk, but there's a man here that can talk for him. Oh, who? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe John Weston's son can tell us something about this. John, John Weston's son? I didn't know he had a son. Where is he? That's him. Is that right? Are you John Weston's son? Why, well, yes. But I don't know anything about your money. Then why did you come sneaking in here without telling anybody who you was? Yeah. 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the matter, Gordon? I'll huh? tell you what the argument's about, Sheriff. This is John Weston's son. He was in with that thieving father of his to wreck the bank. Sure. I'm yeah. swearing out a warrant for his arrest. Yeah. Get him! 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 We'll take care of this, hombre. You can't do yeah, anything man. to this man. Yeah. Oh. He's done nothing wrong. Yeah. 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 some explanation then.
please, can't we do something? This is murder. He's done nothing wrong. Come on. Ruthie, run on up and change your clothes and hurry. All right, Daddy. John. Yeah? Get word to the boys to go to the meeting place just as soon as they can. Untie it, Horton. Untie it, that's it. Untie it. Good boy. Hold it, boy. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Here. Here, untie it, boy. Here. Tarzan, here. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Once more. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, boy. Pick it up. That's it. Good boy. his ropes. He must have slipped out of them some way. How do you suppose he done that? Hey, I told you when you tied that umbre up, he was tricky. Well, it don't make any difference whether he's tricky or not. We gotta find him. Well, just where are you gonna do that? He can't be far away. Well, I ain't wasting no more time. I'm heading back to town. How about you, Lip? Them's my sentiments exactly. Well, they can go back to town if they want to, but we're gonna keep on looking for him until we find him. I'm with you, Chief. Me too. Well, where are we going to start, Sheriff? We're trying to get it over there. Old boy, we just as well hide out here and get a little rest, huh?
Tarzan, old boy, will you stand guard while I look this place over? Huh? seem to be the first ones here. Yeah. Well, what's this meeting all about, anyhow? I don't know. He said to get the bunch together just as soon as we could and meet here. That's that horse of mine, Tarzan. There's something wrong or he wouldn't act like that. I'll take a look. We're a little early. But I guess the rest of the boys will be along directly. Go on in, Ed. Take off phone and pick up a rock for his back and I'll take a look at it. All right, John. Whoa. Come on. Who is it? I don't know, but I'm not taking any chances. one of these meetings? I can't make it any further. All right, old man, I'll have to lay you down here then. Easy, right there. a chance to help our old partner and friend, John West. You remember how he helped you rebuild your house when it was burned down? I sure do. And you, when he helped you restock your ranch after that cyclone? Darn right I do. His son is here and in trouble. And we've got to get behind him, lock, stock, and barrel. Mentally, physically, and financially. Well, you can count on me. Right here, too. Us, too. Hey, uh, that's right. You can. Now, I'm going to tell you John Weston did not commit suicide. He was murdered. Well, how do you figure that? They planted the gun in his right hand. And we all know that John was left handed. How about it, Doc? That's correct. My preliminary examination was superficial. It looked like suicide. But it's an established fact that no left-handed man could shoot himself in the right hand. Does his boy know about this? 
Carol was the one that discovered it. Say, that's why I took that running chance ahead of the train. But that don't explain why Adams swore out the warrant. No, and getting the whole town excited. I believe that Adams and his gang are behind the whole thing. Cal could probably tell us more about it. Where are we going to find it? That Palomino of his is the fastest thing on four feet. Boy, you said it. He's probably in the next county seat by this time. <laughs> oh, not that far, boys. What's him? Yeah. The wounded man back there, will you take care of him? Sure. Okay. How are you? See, right. I'm glad to see you, boy. I'm glad to see you. Couldn't have met at a better time, either. Just figure it might be needing these soon. Boys. Who are you? Everything's working out fine, Cal. Those hombres are all in the saloon playing poker. That's fine. You better go back and keep your eye on them. I won't be long. Right. I wish they'd keep it? them dead blamed doors shut. Oh, oh, honey, that's all right. You'll forget yeah, all about the Oh, fool. Yeah. Can you imagine throwing one all over me? Where do we get our drink? Well, I guess you boys know what to do. That's all tough. Okay, bring us a bottle. It'll take more than a bottle. Reckon we all be dressing, Cal? Yes, you have, boys. Be careful now, will you? Say, right. hey, Cal. Guess what have you got on your mind? <laughs> I guess you have been wondering what it's all about. Yeah. Come on inside now, let's play. Well, you only be glad to hear something. I'll make it all right. Take a look at that. Well, I hope you can get away with it. Get away with it? I know we will. We'll make it work. A uh, sheriff, can you give us 10 minutes before you do anything? We'll be there right on the dock. Fine. Get going? I'm ready if you are. All right. Go ahead, dear. Sit down and rest a little. No, don't worry about me. What time is it? 7.30. Oh, this is the longest night I've ever seen. Come on, you got the ace of spades. Bend it up. I am not better. What's the matter? Get in here full of this. I know who murdered my father, and at 8 o'clock, I'm coming in to get him. Signed, Cal Weston. What do you think of that? Why, he's drunk or crazy. Everybody here in town knows old man Weston killed himself. Well, he seems to have different ideas, judging from this. Well, I reckon if he does come in here tonight, he'll run into a real necktie party. How about oh, it, boys? Well, not for me. There's going to be any shooting. I'm a leaving for home. Oh, right, you're okay with the ace, what are you going to 
bet. Well, I'm going to check in. Oh, what's the matter? Well, I got a wife and kid. There's going to be any shooting around here. Hey, Jack, you want to go? I think it's a good time oh, to get well, out. Well, you're not going to bust up the yeah, game. Yeah, we'll see right. we're going. that fella that's mentioned in that note. Wow. You know he's just as good as planted right now. Bartender, bring me another drink. You know I hear that this guy, Cal, is sure wine shop. Why, they tell me he can plug a dime at 50 yards. Why, I ain't no doubt about it. I've heard that he's got several notches on both his guns. Come on, come on, snap out of it. What's the matter with you? Play something else. Give me another drink. Hi, Adam. Man, you're sure getting spooky. Plugged by a bullet at Why? Wait a minute. I didn't mean to rile you. I just asked you a question. Boy, you know it sure is a darn funny sensation. I got shot once myself, right through the gift. Look, I'll show you. I don't want to see it. Oh, well, it don't hurt much when it goes in. Boy, but when it comes out, shut up. Well, what's the matter with you, Adam? You're all sweaty. Yeah, bartender, give Adam a drink. Never mind. I'll buy my own drinks. Oh, well, all right. Be on It's almost 8 o'clock. The way you act, anything that yours, the hombre was looking for. Well, of course, I know you ain't. Oh, it won't be long now. One minute to eight. What's the matter? This is the most unsociable party I ever, ever saw. Mr. Withers, having a good time?
Adams, you fell for that little trap of mine, didn't you? You ain't got nothing on me. No? But I will have. That's the armor shot you? That's the man, all right. His name is Adams, isn't it? Yeah. What reason do you have for doing it? I take it he didn't want me to get here. I'm the bank examiner from the county seat. The other one was a fake, huh? Of course he was. Who else was in with you on the deal? Suppose you try to make me tell you. I said, who else was in with you on this deal? For the last time I'm asking you, who was it? Don't Come shoot. On. I'll talk. It was, uh... Twenty-seven and thirty-two. Keep it. Yeah. Got everything? All right, get out of here. Come on. Just a moment. Set money down. Well, don't be silly, girl. That gun isn't loaded. going to write me a confession. Stop it. Snake's about to bite you, Carol. Unlock that safe. Get going. Come on. All right. Hurry it up, will you? Can't you hurry? Come on. Open that safe. Hurry. Everything will be all right, huh? Come on, that is him. Carry on. By the way, they're going to 
Uh, are you sure that you've got enough money to pay me? <laughs> now, madam, if you please just be a little patient. We'll open up here in just a few minutes, and you'll get every cent that you entrusted to my father back. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I told you we'd get the money. John! <laughs> All right, well, go. Never mind. You put the money in the bank, but I'll take it out. <laughs> <That's you. laughs> John, will you keep quiet? I told you Jackie's going to get your money. Well, be satisfied. I am being that duck. Yes, right. I don't think I'll take my money out of here. Well, if you don't, I won't take mine. Let's think it over. I told you we'd got all right. Thank you, Mr. Winter. I... I've decided to put the money back in the bank. That's a very but good darling idea. And I've decided to put it back in my own name. Oh, but John, you heard me. Uh, I think it's a very good idea. idea. All right. You have no trouble at all. That's right. Why, John? Oh, sure, everything went along fine, didn't it? <laughs> I told you things would be all right if it gave us time. Yeah, I ain't told Mother, but you stick that in, will you? Gee. I don't know much about banking. I'm sure you're gonna need a lot of help. I could sort of be your secretary. No. Say, how about my money? Yes, ma'am. Right away. I don't want to draw any out. I want to put this back in. Oh, well, that, that's, that's fine. Yes, ma'am.